Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm here to give you guys a quick update. Yes, I switched out the exhaust that you guys can see right here. What them tips say? Corsas. They're not the sports, however. They are the extremes. <laughs> if you guys watched my install video of the cooks, you all heard me talk about why I didn't go courses to begin with. Me not wanting to be like everybody else. Me trying to be different, trying to go a different direction, but here I am still, you know, pulling the trigger on some courses, which they sound fantastic. This is probably the best setup that I've had on my GT500 since I've had it. I've tried a variety of different exhaust brands from Cooks, of course, Corsa Sports, Magnaflow Competitions, and the OEM. With my current setup with the Cooks Long Tube Headers and the Off-Road H-Pipe, these Corsa Sports, man, they, <laughs> man, they, these Corsa Extremes, excuse me, these Corsa Extremes are just by far the best. And I would have saved a lot of headache by just going this direction to begin with. It was kind of like a last minute thing yesterday when I installed them. So I wasn't really in a whole mood to film and everything. I just wanted to get them on so I could see what it sounds like. But here's a clip of what they sound like, man. Y'all check this out. So today I'm actually back over here getting ready to put the car back on jack stands and tighten up a couple bolts on the hanger. Yesterday, whenever I had drove out to see what they sound like, I, I was hearing some rattling noise and I figured it was those bolts um, on the top of the hanger that was hard for me to get to. I thought maybe I'd be able to get away with not tightening them in. Boy, was I wrong. On both sides, it's rattling like crazy. You know, you guys know I can't have my car sounding raggedy, all right? So I'm getting up under here. And pretty much, I'm probably going to have to take apart the entire exhaust again in order to be able to shift it and move it around so I can access those middle bolts. But yeah, that's what we're into for today. And maybe later on, once, uh, later on in the day, when everybody gets up, I can go ahead and start it up and we can drive it around and get some more rails and everything like that. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be polite and not start this thing up at 9 in the morning because, man, when I say it's loud, <laughs> it's loud. But the thing I like about it the most the thing I like about it the most is that uh, you're able to kind of keep it quiet when cruising, but that cold start ain't no way around that. What's going on, boys? So we inside the Shelby right now, getting ready to do this good old cold start. I figure I'll go ahead and do the cold start from inside the car, because uh, on the outside, man, it's just it's just ear piercing, ear piercing. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and get this good old cold start going. Let's see. Ya. Boy, a lot of folks gonna be mad, but this must happen. This has to happen. All right, boys, first cold start with the Corsa Extremes on the channel. Absolutely no drone with inside the car. So all 
the noise is straight out there in the back. on there and that one actually did pretty good on YouTube it's like one of my first videos I posted and uh, I think I, I think it's up to like 17k views right now let's see how many views we get for these Corsa extremes man and you guys like share and subscribe to the channel man but share the hell out of this video and like it y'all help me y'all help me go on this channel I should be at a thousand by now I feel don't y'all agree? I should be about a thousand souls by now. This thing's still cold, so we're gonna let it idle a little bit right here before we just get on it. Y'all listen to this though. Y'all listen to this. I tell you, camming, man. Chop, 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 chop.
Amen.